Hi, Lisette here for Tool Tester. Email automation has become a top marketing priority for businesses in recent years. And with so many affordable and user-friendly automation platforms out there, it's also become much more accessible than ever. But how exactly does email automation work? In this video, we'll give you a quick overview and take you behind the curtain of both simple and complex automation procedures. Email marketing has traditionally been weighed down by one central issue, lack of relevance. That's what email automation aims to solve. It ensures that the right messages reach the right people at the right time, no matter where they are in their customer journey. So what does automation look like in email marketing? Well, automation can be as simple or as complex as you'd like. One of the most basic examples you're likely familiar with is an autoresponder. You may regularly set one up when you're out of office. But let's see how this more advanced automation works on our Tool Tester website. When a visitor registers to download our ebook, this triggers the automation, which then automatically sends the visitor an email with the link to download the ebook. We set this up using MailChimp, but this type of automation can actually be set up by any modern email marketing software out there. There are also other types of triggers that can be used to send automated email campaigns. Here's an example of a slightly more complex automation using ActiveCampaign. Not to worry, it's still easy to set up thanks to ActiveCampaign's pre-built templates and a nice workflow view. Let's imagine we run an online store and want to encourage visitors to buy a product they've been considering. How can automation help? Well, first, an automation can check if a visitor has added a product to their cart. ActiveCampaign knows this already because we've previously integrated our store with ActiveCampaign. In the second step, the automation waits one day to give the customer a chance to finish the order. If the customer made the purchase, then the automation ends. But if the item was not purchased at the end of those 24 hours, then the automation will send an abandoned cart reminder via email to encourage the visitor to complete the purchase. Obviously, this can only work if we know who our visitor is, and that's only the case if they registered for the newsletter previously or have an account with our store. But this is just the tip of the automation iceberg. With most marketing automation platforms, you'll find a wide range of templates to help you build out different automations for each stage of the customer journey and meet your marketing goals. I hope that this brief intro gave you an idea or two of how you can use automation to your benefit but we definitely recommend that you check out our in-depth guides on automation over at emailtooltester.com, where we offer more tips and compare some of the best automation platforms out there for small to medium businesses. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.